Hello? Hey. Yep. Oh, alright, I'll be there in a minute. Alright, see ya. Bye. Time to go get my phone! Haha! <laughs> yeah, I'm excited. Uh, AT&T store just waiting to meet up with dad and get this brand new phone which I'm really excited about I'm still kind of sleepy I, the one day I get to sleep in and I sleep till like 8 o'clock which is really that's that's sleeping really late for me lately so I guess I guess that's a plus look at it look at it heck yeah new phone now, granted, I don't have any of the apps or anything, but ah, it's so awesome! I know it's not even like a really like new new phone, but still, it's better than the freaking 3GS that I had, and everything's so much faster. It's so awesome! I love it. It's 4G. I'm not used to 4G. I'm used to 3G. I'm pretty excited. So I have to go home, and I have to back up all my com my stuff to the computer. Um, which I may or may not do. I don't know. I need to do it anyway. But then come back here and give the phone to her. I'm trying to get all this stuff done so I can go out to Natural Bridge, but it's taking so long because I still got to get a haircut and all that other fun crap. Ah, oh, man, today. Today is a busy day. And it's my day off. I can never get away from a busy day. All right, so I got all the stuff backed up on the computer. I'm letting it charge for a little bit. And then once it gets all charged up, then I will be heading out to, oh, uh, yeah, heading out to, I forgot what I was going to say, wow, Natural Bridge, that's right, that's where I'm going. Alright, well first I'm going to run out to Walmart, try to get me a haircut, unless I have to wait unbelievably forever, and then go to uh, Natural Bridge. That's where I'm going to head. This little cat has been freaking... Go what is your deal, dude? He is so spastic today. So spastic. Why are you so crazy? Huh? You're not being neglected. Weirdo. Alright. Wow, I bet that looks different, huh? I don't know why. Right here. This hair right here. I just don't like it. I don't like it at all. But I'm not as sure as I wanted to go, so I think I'll be alright with it. But feel a lot better that's for sure maybe next time I'll just go completely just whatever with it I don't know I'm getting hair everywhere <laughs> all right now time to head to natural bridge I keep forgetting where I'm going all right so I am out here now at the sky lift that they have and I hiked this trail in that don't get off the or get off the road video but there's certain spots that I haven't checked out yet so I'm gonna, wow, that looks pretty. Right up there, that ridge, I'd love to go to the top of that. Hmm. Pretty much I'm just kind of finding my own trails and doing my own little thing. And I know a couple of secret spots, but I'm gonna wait to hit those up probably around like two or three-ish to where it's hot in the day and I know they'll produce some stuff. But for right now, I remember last time I was down here, I saw some stuff out this way, so we'll see if we can find anything. All right, so if you look in the water right there, it's a whole bunch of rainbow trout. Which is really cool because I've never seen rainbow trout like this up close before, just like in a stream like this. I've seen like bass and bluegill and stuff, but never like trout. Holy crap. Makes me want to go fishing so bad. Oh my gosh, if I had my fly rod, it would be over. <laughs> that is too cool. Too cool. And this zoom on this thing is ridiculously retarded. Okay, there we go. Alright, so that place was a bust. So pretty much what I'm doing right now, sorry if the wind's a little bad, is hitting up is uh, I just saw this little side road thing that had this little area. It's got this creek right here. So I'm figuring, oh and it looks a lot nicer up there. Figuring these are the places where I'm gonna be able to pick to go off the path. And kind of do my own little thing and see what all I can find. Granted they're usually travel a lot by people, but considering the fact that it's the middle of the week in the fall. Fall break's already over. 
there's not really a lot of people out here so since there's not a lot of people out here I might be able to actually see some stuff but I don't know that is pretty though gosh uh, just like I always say whenever I come out and do this even if I don't see anything totally worth it totally worth it now this is what I am looking for right here uh, I'm not really sure if I'm supposed to be over here, but uh, there's no signs that said I couldn't be. So, why not, right? Alright, so that place turned up empty too. So what I'm going to do is hit up that Indian Greek place that I went to last time. If I can remember how to get there. And hopefully on the way back from there, I don't get turned around and go into a big circle like I did last time. Because that, even though I produced that giant rat snake at the end, that was the only good part of doing all that. Otherwise, it was just a big waste of gas driving in a huge circle. So, I know better next time. This time. Now, this is what I like to call a scenic drive. There's so many spots that I could pull off, but I got this douchebag behind me. Look, there's a dude just chilling, just walking. That's what I'm going to be doing whenever I can find a spot without worrying about this dude annihilating my rear end holy crap that's a crazy turn wow all right i think i went the wrong way because i don't remember this at all but uh this is still pretty uh a pretty scenically amazing drive i mean holy crap good lord i need to find a spot to pull off okay so i have no idea where i'm at but uh, anytime you find a gravel road, it's surely to be good. Warning, dangerous cliffs. That's awesome. And there's a sign for bears. And there's a car coming, and there's a car coming, and there's a car coming. Oh my god. Ah, oh, the things I do to entertain you guys. Yep, I'm putting the blame on you. I am. No, I'm not. I'm not really. I don't know where I am. I don't know where this leads to. Um, but as soon as I find a spot to pull off, I reckon I'll be, uh, no, 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 design parking. Okay. I said no parking on the sides of the separate designated parking areas, so I, that kind of limits me. I don't know. We'll pick it back up if I get anything, or, you know, hopefully if I don't die. Alright, so I have no idea where I'm at. Apparently some place now called Grace Arch. Guess what the forest is that I'm at? Daniel Boone National Forest. You know the one that's like right down the street from my house? Yeah. Apparently I'm at the other end of that one. It's kind of terrifying not knowing exactly where I'm at, but at the same time it's kind of exciting. There's places I've never been before, never seen. I get to bring you guys along and hopefully you don't get to watch me die. Well, if I die then the vlog obviously won't be uploaded. But, uh, it's, I don't know, it's really pretty though, that's for sure. There's a car there, I saw these guys going down this trail, so I figured, what the heck, why not? And there's signs for bears up everywhere, so I'm like, oh, I mean, I'll take on a copperhead and a rattlesnake, but, uh, a bear? I don't know how well I'd fare in that little deal. But uh, hopefully we don't have to find that out today. But, uh, this is pretty nice. Oh, well, now that I'm further away and the guy can't hear me, I can actually talk about this now. When I was getting out of my truck and going, I walked past this dude in his car and he just asked me if I was going to Gray's Ridge. And I was like, I don't even know what you're saying. And uh, he was like, oh, it's a huge arch up about a mile down the trail. I uh, brought some rope. I'm gonna do something that nobody's ever seen done before. And in my head I'm thinking, <laughs> murder me? And he was saying he needed a second guy. So I was like, you know what? As, as tempting as that sounds, I think I'm gonna pass. Just think I'm gonna pass on that one. So he was telling me how exactly to get there, but I don't know if he was actually telling me how to get to the trail or how he could get me to somewhere where he could rape and murder me. It was a very creepy experience, but uh, on top of the bears, I have to worry about man rapists out here too. That's just that's just unfortunate. Oh, there's a fork in the road. 
I go that way or that way? That way says Pincham Tight Trail. That doesn't sound appealing at all. And Rush Ridge Trail. A mile. Oh, I don't want to walk a mile. Uh, I wish I had gotten out here earlier. That's no clearing. Yeah, come over here. I wish I had gotten here earlier so that I could actually do some of these trails. That's why I didn't go on the actual natural bridge trail because, you know, by the time I got done walking to and from, it would already be dark out. But <sighs> I don't know. There was a spot out in the ridges on the main road where it was windy and turny and I almost died. I've almost died so many times today. It's pretty awesome. But there was a spot where a guy had pulled off and I think I'm gonna try to hit that up because that's more my taste. This is just flat, you know, all around. The, the other place was like big ridges and limestone bluffs and stuff like that. And that's that's where you're gonna find your copperheads and your rattlesnakes, which is ideally what I'd like to find today. But I don't think I'm gonna, maybe next time, whenever I have more time. Because I'm kind of unlimited time just because of running late and stuff. So I think I'm gonna hit up that and, uh, Hopefully that guy's not still there whenever I get to my truck. Alright, so I'll take back what I said about the creepy guy. I doubt he was going to want to rape and kill me, but you no, know, he was still creepy. Don't get me wrong, he's still creepy. But he gave me directions to uh, Indian Creek. Apparently I'm way, way off course. So he let me know where to go to get there. So that's where I'm going to head next. And that's, that's my Hail Mary right now because I haven't seen anything at all. Beautiful scenery, don't get me wrong, but I get a kick out of seeing the, the wildlife, so... Hopefully, we'll land on the mother load there. Oh, we're coming up on the creepy tunnel that I hate. Oh, I hate this tunnel so much because you never know when somebody's coming through it or not. Uh, hopefully, no one's coming through. Is someone coming through? Is someone coming through? No, no one's coming through. Look how creepy this is. First time I drove through this, I didn't have my lights on. And, uh, yeah, it was, uh, interesting, that's for sure. Ah, uh, I can't see crap. And I have my lights on. Ah, this is so nerve-wracking. I hate this. I hate it, 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 I hate it. If you haven't guessed, I hate this. Whew, but at least I can say I drove through a tunnel. Aw, oh, cute couple. Yeah, that happened. All right. Oh, I made it. I made it. Oh, my goodness. I am happy that I finally made it. I actually parked this time to where I can actually get out and go that way. I went that way last time, and that's where it got me really, really lost. But the directions that the guy was telling me, I could not get lost. But at the same time, oh, my new phone. I'm sorry. Let's get to some herping. Oh, no service. That's awesome, too. All right, here we go, guys. Finally found it. First piece of tin. Hopefully there's something under here. Are you kidding me? Not a daggone thing. Well, now I found where they laid the tin. Hopefully we'll be able to find some stuff. Hopefully there'll be more under it than what was under that one. All right, now this sheet of tin right here, where it's at the base of this tree, be an excellent, excellent place for a copperhead to be chilling out. So, let's see if uh, there's possibly one under here. Not a dang thing. What is up with that? Yeah, well. All right, well, we'll just pick it back up whenever I actually find something. How about that? Well, as much as I hate to do it, I think I might have to throw in the towel. I've been looking around here for <laughs> a good 30 minutes to an hour. Lifted up all the sheets of tin that I saw. Ain't nothing. So, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Kind of sucks, though, but, you know, at least we got this thing is just so treacherous. <laughs> at least I got to get out and do this. That's the uh, 
off the by itself. Well, what am I doing? I'm going that way or that way? Um, uh, eventually I'll get back to my truck, I hope. Well, that was fun. You have to admit, even though we didn't see anything still, that was, it's always good to get out of the, you know, little suburban neighborhoods that I'm always in and get out in the woods, even if it is just to take in the scenery, you know, you can. So it's always good to do that. I, uh, plus, you know, next time that I go, I'll, I'll make sure I'm not doing anything that day. Pack a lunch, because I'm starving right now. Uh, just go a lot more prepared and hopefully next time that I go, which probably won't be till spring, Scott will be able to go with me because whenever me and him go out and do anything like that, we're always going to find something. One of us is always going to find something. It never fails. But I'm just about to hit Winchester. Soon my vanilla's grab me something to eat because like I said, I haven't eaten anything all day. Did not. Uh, today I wasn't prepared at all. I think the new phone thing just kind of threw me off. I'm going to eat, and then I remember that Zach's coming in this weekend, so I need to swing by the house since I haven't been there since, like, what, Sunday or Monday? And make sure that, again, that their cat's still alive and the house is a complete wreck. Probably clean it a little bit, make sure it looks all nice and spiffy for him whenever he gets there. And uh, more than likely, we won't see them, or we'll see Zach at all this weekend, just because I got work back to back. So, we'll probably pick it up whenever I get over there, their, their place. Well, Chick-fil-A just called me. And uh, I'm just now leaving McDonald's. And uh, there, we're, there's drive. Okay. And now Wednesday, I'm working from 6:30 to 3 because they had a 11 to 3 shift that needed to be picked up. So I tell you what, you want you learn one little thing in the kitchen. Who knew that's all it took? Because that puts me at like, I don't know, like 30 plus hours just for the week. That's that's crazy when I was getting like 12 that's a big jump over learning one little thing so I don't know it should be a nice paycheck though I'm looking forward to it but I'm gonna get home scarf this down and then head over to Max's and do all that fun stuff what mm-hmm are you ups okay I understand you're upset but I'm here now and you already you have food and water so what's your deal you didn't even need me to come by. Yeah, got nothing to say now, do you? Well, it shed like no other. Holy crap. Oh, I gotta sweep all that up. Don't think I'm gonna be mopping the floors and whatnot. I might go through it a little bit. I already did that last week, so. <laughs> What's the point, right? That's, that's the way I look at it. That is one extremely happy cat. Alright guys, that's going to do it for today. I am unbelievably exhausted. And I think the McDonald's food just kind of sent me over the edge as far as being tired. So, I'm going to wrap up some laundry, edit this. I'm going to just go ahead and get it up tonight. Because I don't want to have to mess with it in the morning. So, yeah. It's going to be an early vlog. Two videos in one day. You're welcome. But I reckon I will see you guys uh, tomorrow.